Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I promised you guys uh, several months ago that when I parted out this Gravely 430, we would do a video taking apart the transmission and see what all damage we found. I didn't so much as take the motor off and found damage. So here's what I found. It's just random chunks of metal in here, loose gears, and this is supposed to be like that so that's how much that's worn down this is all supposed to be one gear all the way across here this is just broke and missing half of it this gear fell out when I took the engine off I kind of set it back in there because I'm guessing that's where it goes yeah lots of shrapnel and crap fell out so that's at least part of it if not the whole problem but we're still going to take the transmission apart and uh kind of look and find out i've never had one of these apart i kind of want to know how it works so i'm going to set you guys up in the stand and we're going to start pulling things apart and i'll probably put you in a time lapse and if i find anything interesting I'll bring you back around and show you, but as of right now, there's quite a bit of damage in there, so maybe that's all the damage, I don't know. Let's dig in. Alright, the first thing I want to point out is uh, I have the PTO on. When I spin this, we do have things back here spinning. Be a little slower in that gear. Now, I've never had one of these apart, but that gear doesn't. Uh Look okay. great. I don't know if it's supposed to have those chips in that tooth or in that gear in these teeth like that, but they're all that way. So maybe. Okay, so this one here is the clutch. It must move these. Yeah. So there's clutches up inside of here, must be. The other clutches are back here. Okay, that's cool. Interesting to know. Like I said, guys, I've never had one of these apart, so I do not know. I think I'm going to see if I can figure out how to Take this part. Oh, that pulls right out. Come on. Wait, doesn't this just pull out? Does this have to... What are we hitting? That's in good shape. Oh, 
There's the clutch of some sort of plate. Okay, it appears that that just engages on this and moves that around. I don't really know. I don't exactly understand what's going on here. That's cast into there, so possibly there's another way to take the front off. Oh, I can take that front plate off. Okay. I see. Let's spin that around and take that front block plate off. That's the dog gear. I believe that's what the Gravely people call it. I don't know. Gear that engages it. Ah, so that's how the PTO is engaged. It just slides this back and forth. Okay, I see. Now what is this? Random piece just chilling goes in here and catches the engaging thingamajigger. Ooh, some water in the strands. So that's just some mud and dirt. So there's some junk in here, but it's just like mud and foreign objects. It's not metal shavings. So this whole front hub is good. There was nothing wrong in the whole thing. So I think I'm going to stick it back together now, at least part way, and we'll move on to the rest of the trans. Yummy, yummy. Definitely some chunkage and flakage and stuff in here. Let's go dump it and see what we find out. Now that's like pure water there. There's already been some metal chunks I heard fall in there. Both axle tubes are off. That is not what you want to see inside of a trans. Yummy, yummy. Pull this dipstick up out some. And then I'm going to pull this diff out. And we'll have some space to look around.
Alright. Pure metal flakes in here. This poor trans never had a chance. That gear up top looks okay-ish in part of it. It looks like it was run without oil for a little bit. But look at all the metal and trash at the bottom. Oh my. I'd like to get some more of this out and apart in this front end. Maybe pull out this cross shaft, see what I can find. All right, so anyone who is curious, like I was, as to how this works, this is all in order of how it came out. This went back here, you saw that. These are your clutches right here. They just kind of get shoved in to different things. This actuates everything. So this goes back in here, and then this kind of goes around this. Only on one side, you see. It's kind of got a ridge. And the inside of this is the same way. So it goes around this and this. And it just kind of more or less mates them together, it looks like. It appears that this would always be spinning with this. But I don't know, I could be wrong. But yeah, and then this just is a keeper. It kind of holds everything in. Things can ride in it. It just jams this back and forth. Same exact setup on the other end. I already took that out. It's actually in that. You can see it here. This piece here is the keeper, just like this piece here. But as you can see, this transmission is shot. Pieces could be used. This whole front section here is junk. And uh, these teeth, well, they're just, they're not good. It could be used, but they're pretty bad. They got full of debris and crap. So this transmission could be salvaged if a feller cleaned out the case really well and got a new one of these, the whole shooting match, and this. This is still good, this is still good, but these are junk, and they ended up tearing some other stuff up when they went. So, that is what uh, happened in this transmission. I don't know how they ended up tearing this up, because when you just jam the clutch in, which is what I thought they were doing, it actually engages right here. There's a cog, you guys saw that. This shaft is always spinning that goes up to it, it looks like. So I don't know how they would have messed this front, or I guess the back half of the transmission up that badly, but that's what they managed to do. So now we all know 
I'm just going to part this transmission out. Not going to do me much good. I might keep a couple of things, but for the most part, it's getting parted out. So if you need anything, let me know in the comments. Uh, actually, the whole tractor is getting parted out over here. I'm keeping the front axle stuff and the front grill, but pretty much everything else can go. I might hang on to the steering for mine, we'll see. But got full steering brake set up. I'll probably just sell that. All kinds of stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And uh, if you want to see more content like this, let me know down in the comments. Tell me what you want to see, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one.